Hey, Mark Rice here. I love the games, more to create than to play. So today I will create a game character and let's do that together. If you want to download all my illustrations at once, use my tools, learn my color combinations, use my brushes, everything that I created so far, go on the gigantic dot store. First, I will pick up the skin color and create just a small part of the face. And it will be the rectangle, just the small part of the face. Okay, and this is the place for the eyes and the ear and that's it. So, I will draw the ear. Okay, and make these corners round. So, for the wicking we will need a beard. And I will create that right now. Here, I'll create the rectangle. Okay, it will be orange or red or something like that. You pick up your favorite color for that part. Okay, boom, 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 boom. And here I will need one more rectangle for the second part of the beard. Something like this. It's very easy. Zip. Okay, beautiful. And now I can create the hair as well. And for that I will need the rectangle, <laughs> like always. Send to back and make this corner round. Hmm, not bad. But I will move these shapes a bit. Something like this. Okay, beautiful. Okay. And for that I will use the purple color, but here in the background I have purple color as well. Because that, this one will be dark. Okay. Here I will create one more rectangle for the upper part of the hamlet. And it will be rounded. I can do that better. Okay. Now I will draw the eyes, my one black line, okay, and here I can create one more part, not bad, and the mouth as well. So for that I will just skin color and make these corners round, and that's it. Huh. Maybe I can change the size a bit, I'll create a bold mouth. Okay. Okay, cool. I like it, not bad. And now I'll create the most interesting part of this Hamlet. You will see. First, I'll create one rectangle. Okay. Something like this. And I will copy it. Rotate it by 45 degrees and change the size a bit. Now I will make these corners rounded and these as well, okay? And here in the upper part I'll round just one corner, okay. Okay, beautiful. Now I need the shadow, so I'll copy the shape, send to back. Okay, and here I will create the shadow as well. And my old technique. I will copy the shapes two times. The first one I will move up, then select copy its shapes and use minus front in the pathfinder. And that's it. Ah, okay, I will leave it like that. I want just try one more thing. Okay. Group the shapes, change the size and move it here. I will increase it a bit. I like it. Maybe here I can add a highlight as well. And it can be white, why not? Copy these shapes, reflect it and send to back. Beautiful. Okay, so I think that I finished the head. And I will group the shapes. 
and now it's time for the body and for the body i will use green color okay i can use this one why not <laughs> make these corners round and here i can create one more rectangle something like this i will copy it okay this is what i need and here i can add a few details okay copy it and duplicate the process with Control plus d a few times now group the shapes send to back and move it here cool now we have the body okay later i will find the right position now i want to create the arm so i will create one rectangle and use skin color for it and i will create one more rectangle but this one will be smaller okay make these corners round and create the shadow here i will show you okay something like this and make this corner surround as well Whoop. Zip. rotate it by 45 degrees and move it here okay beautiful so this is the front arm i will finish it later when i create the weapon group the shapes change the size and move it here okay and here i can add one more part and this will be the hand okay so as i said before i'll finish it later i can change the size something like this beautiful and now i can create the second arm and it will be very easy i will copy these shapes move it here i will delete this part of the arm because i don't need it you can keep this part if you want to animate this character later but i don't want that so i will delete it okay rotate it something like this send to back okay not bad not bad not bad maybe i can change the color and use darker colors for it because this arm is in the background and i want to achieve the deep of the field and because of that i will use darker colors so now i want to create a shield something like that it will be small but it will be cool okay and i need one more part for it now i will try it okay not bad i will see later and the legs so for the legs i will create a rectangle as well and use skin color so this will be the lower part of the leg here i will need one more part and maybe i can move it a bit okay beautiful and i will add a few details one more here and it will be easy if i copy this shape okay i like it so far let me check maybe something like this and here i can use the yellow color okay beautiful and i need the second part of the leg so i just created that part okay i want to match this yellow and this one as well so i will use the same color group the shapes change the size send to back and now i will try to find the right position something like this okay cool i will copy the shapes and reflect it
Okay, beautiful. And then I will create a weapon. And that's it. So, for the weapon, I need the black rectangle. This will be the big part of the weapon. Here I will create one more. Okay. And before I continue, I will change this black color as well. It will be dark black color. Like all other elements as well. Beautiful. That's it. Now I can create one more part here. Send to back. I need a semicircle, so I will create it. Okay, I will copy this circle before that. And this one will be white. Now I can divide these shapes. Ungroup it and delete these shapes. Okay. Change the size. Move it here. And copy it. Beautiful. And here I can add a few yellow parts. Okay. Group the shapes. Okay, so I don't want to cover this part of the character because I like it. And because of that, I increase the size of this black rectangle. Okay, not bad. Maybe I can add a thumb. Send to back. Something like this. And finally, I will create a shadow. Make these corners round. And send to back. And basically that's it, we just got the beautiful character for the game. If you want to boost it even more, you can create the shadows for the beard, for the body, you can change the color of the body, create shadows here, for the legs as well, and that's it. Okay, and if you want to go a few steps further and learn even more, or just hang out with me on a daily basis, become part of this incredible list here. You will be able to watch my exclusive video tutorials and become part of the private community. This will be game changer for you if you are serious about your creative future. So take action right now and do something good for you and your family. And remember, stay tuned because the best is yet to come. Peace.